Crowfeather's Trial, Prologue, and Allegiances. Allegiances, Wing Clan, Leader, One Star, Brown Tabby Tom, Deputy, Hairspring, Brown and White Tom, whose apprentice is Slight Paw, Black Tom with a flash of white on his chest, Medicine Cat, Kestrel Flight, Motlid Gray Tom, Warriors, Toms and She Cats without kits, Crowfeather, Dark Gray Tom, whose apprentice is Feather Paw, Gray Tabby She Cat, Night Cloud, Black She Cat, whose apprentice is Hoot Paw, Dark Gray Tom, Gorse Tail, Very Pale, Gray and White She Cat with Blue Eyes, Weasel Fur, Ginger Tom with White Paws, Leaf Tail, Dark Tabby Tom with Amber Eyes, whose apprentice is Oat Paw, Pale Brown Tabby Tom, Emberfoot, Gray Tabby Tom with Two Dark Paws, Heather Tail, Light Brown Tabby She Cat with Blue Eyes, Breeze Pelt, Black Tom with Amber Eyes, Fuzz Pelt, Gray and White She Cat, Crouchfoot, Ginger Tom, Larkwing, Pale Brown Tabby She Cat, Sedge Whisker, Light Brown Tabby She Cat, Elders, Former Warriors and Queens now retired, Whisker Nose, Light Brown Tom, and White Tail, Small White She Cat, Thunder Clan, Leader, Bramble Star, Dark Brown Tabby Tom with Amber Eyes, Deputy, Squirrel Flight, Dark Ginger She Cat with Green Eyes, Medicine Cats, J Feather, Gray Tabby Tom with Blind Blue Eyes, Leaf Pool, Light Brown Tabby She Cat with Amber Eyes, Warriors, Gray Stripe, Long Haired Gray Tom, Dust Pelt, Dark Brown Tabby Tom, Sandstorm, Pale Ginger She Cat with Green Eyes, Brackenfur, Golden Brown Tabby Tom, Cloudtail, Long Haired White Tom with Blue Eyes, Millie, Striped Gray Tabby She Cat with Blue Eyes, Thornclaw, Golden Brown Tabby Tom, Spider Leg, Long Limbed Black Tom with a Brown Underpelly and Amber Eyes, Birchfall, Light Brown Tabby Tom, White Wing, White She Cat with Green Eyes, Apprentice, Cherry Paw, Ginger She Cat, Berry Nose, Cream Color Tom, Mouse Whisker, Gray and White Tom, Cinderheart, Gray Tabby She Cat, Ivy Pool, Silver and White Tabby She Cat with Dark Blue Eyes, Lion Blaze, Golden Tabby Tom with Amber Eyes, Dove Wing, Pale Gray She Cat with Green Eyes, Rose Petal, Dark Cream She Cat, Apprentice Mole Paw, Brown and Cream Tom, Poppy Frost, Tortoiseshell and White She Cat, whose apprentice is Lily Paw, Tabby She Cat with White Patches, Briar Light, Dark Brown She Cat, Paralyzed in her hind quarters, Blossom Fall, Tortoiseshell and White She Cat, Bumble Strip, Very Pale Gray Tom with Black Stripes, Apprentice Seed Paw, Golden Brown She Cat, Queens, Bright Heart, White She Cat with Ginger Patches, Mother to Snow Kit, a Fluffy White Tom Kit, Amber Kit, a Pale Gin She Kit, and Dew Kit, a Gray and White Tom Kit, Daisy, Cream Long Furred Cat from the Horse Place, Elders, Purdy, Plump Tabby, Former Loner with a Gray Muzzle, Shadow Clan Leader, Black Star, Large White Tom with Jet Black Forepaws, Deputy Rowan Claw, Ginger Tom, Medicine Cat, Little Cloud, Very Small Tabby Tom, Warriors Crow Frost, Black and White Tom, Tawny Pelt, Tortoiseshell She-Cat with Green Eyes, Apprentice Grass Paw, Pale Brown Tabby She-Cat, Owl Claw, Light Brown Tabby Tom, Scorch Fur, Dark Gray Tom, Tiger Heart, Dark Brown Tabby Tom, Ferret Claw, Cream and Gray Tom, Apprentice Spike Paw, Dark Brown Tom, Pine Nose, Black She-Cat, Stoat Fur, Skinny Ginger Tom, Pounce Tail, Brown Tabby Tom, Queens, Snowbird, Pure White She-Cat, Dawn Pelt, Cream Furred She-Cat, Elders, Snake Tail, Snake Tail, Dark Brown Tom with Tabby Striped Tail, White Water, White She-Cat with Long Fur, Blind in One Eye, Rat Scar, Brown Tom with Long Scars Across His Back, Oak Fur, Small Brown Tom, Smoke Foot, Black Tom, Kink Fur, Dark Gray Tabby She-Cat with Long Fur that sticks out at all angles, Ivy Tail, Black, White, and Tortoiseshell She-Cat, River Clan, Leader Misty Star, Gray She-Cat with Blue Eyes, Deputy Reed Whisker, Black Tom, Apprentice Lizard Paw, Light Brown Tom, Medicine Cats, Moth Wing, Dappled Golden She-Cat, Willow Shine, Gray Tabby She-Cat, Warriors, Mint Fur, Light Gray Tabby Tom, Mol Minnow Tail, Dark Gray and White She-Cat, Mal Nose, 
Light brown tabby tom. Apprentice haven paw. Black and white she cat. Grass pelt. Light brown tom. Dusk fur. Brown tabby she cat. Moss pelt. Tortoiseshell and white she cat with blue eyes. Apprentice perch paw. Gray and white she cat. Shimmer pelt. Silver she cat. Lake heart. Gray tabby she cat. Heron wing. Dark gray and black tom. Ice wing. White she cat with blue eyes. Queens. Petal fur. Gray and white she cat. Elders. Pounce tail. Ginger and white tabby tom. Pebble foot. Malt of the gray tom. And rush tail. Light brown tabby she cat. Prologue. Karlpa pressed himself back into the crevice. He winced at the sharp points of rock jabbing into his fur. They told him the space was too shallow to shelter him. He let out a cry of terror as he gazed up the looming head and shoulders of Sharptooth, a, the huge lion cat. Sharptooth stooped over him, scraping at the rock with one paw's massive talons. Moonlight, flittering through the waterfalls, cast a glow on his face. Showering Crowpaw's lip, drawn back in a cruel snarl, covered fangs, jaws drooping with drool. Sharp Tooth's ra rancid breath swept over Crowpaw, and his eyes glared down, savage with hunger. I can't believe I'm going to die like this, Crowpaw thought desperately. Not after all we've been through. We left our homes, traveled together, and faced so many dangers. We met the Badger Midnight and discovered a new destiny for the clans. I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of our future, but now it's over. Crowpaw could hear the wailing of the tribe cats and the skinny forms lurched on the high ledges above the cave floor in shades of gray and brown. His panicked glance sought out Feathertail, and his heart warmed when he spotted her gray pelt. She was crouching beside her brother Stormfur on the ledge just up under the roof. She is so beautiful. I don't want to die before I have a chance to. Then, somehow, above the ta terrified cries of the other cats and the snarling of the sharp tooth, Crowpaw heard Feathertail. I can hear the voices clearly now, she mewed. This is for me to do. For a moment, Crowpaw's fear vanished by confusion. What voices? Silver flashed in the moonlight as Feathertail launched herself off the ledge, hurling herself at one of the pointed stones that hung down from the roof. For a few heartbeats, she clung there, digging her claws into the rock. Crowpaw heard Stormfur yell, No. He watched in horror, forgetting his own danger as the stone began to split away from within the roof with a sickening crack. It couldn't support Feathertail's weight and was about to collapse. Feathertail! He yelled. No! Get down from there! But it was impossible for Feathertail to escape. With a dull grinding noise, the stone broke away and plummeted down. Feathertail was still clinging to it, falling straight towards Sharptooth. C Crowpaw could hardly bear to watch, yet he couldn't tear his gaze from the scene. The lion looked up. His snarl changed to a scream of pain as the spike thrust its way into his neck. He fell to the ground, withering in agony, as Feathertail tumbled from the spike, hitting the cave floor beside him. For a moment, Crowpaw was frozen with shock. As he gazed at the gentle she-cat, her eyes were closed. Crowpaw couldn't tell whether she was breathing. Is she alive? Stormfur hurtled down the rock towards his sister's side. Beside them, the lion cat twitched for a few heartbeats, then gave a massive shudder and was still. Sharptooth was dead. Feather tail! Stormfur wh whispered. Feather tail? Stormfur whispered. Crowpaw stumbled out of his crevice, still shaking, and crouched beside the two other clan cats. Feathertail, he rasped, hardly able to keep his voice steady. Feathertail, are you okay? Though Feathertail did not respond, Crowpaw can now see the faint rise and fall of her chest. She's alive, he mewed, his paws prickling with hope. She'll be fine. Stormfur's voice cracked as if he didn't believe what he was saying. She's got to be. She has a prophecy to fulfill. But a terrible fear was growing inside Crowpaw. What if Feathertail just did fulfill the prophecy? It had spoken of a silver cat who would save them from a terrible lion cat. Crowpaw had never imagined that it would actually come true, or that the silver she-cat would be Feathertail, but did that really mean her story ended here? What if she never goes home to help lead her clan to its new territory? He crept forward until the nose touched Feathertail's shoulder. Breathing deeply, he let her sweet scent flow through him and gently began to lick her ruffled pelt. 
He thought about the future he had dreamed of, where they found a way to be together, even though they were from different clans. Wake up, Feathertail, he mewed. Please wake up. He let out a gasp as Feathertail's eyes fluttered open. She looked warmly at Crowpaw, then turned her head slightly to look up at Stormfur. You have to go home without me, brother, she muttered. Save the clan. Feathertail, he choked, a painful lump in his throat. Then her head shifted again, her gaze focusing once more on Crowpaw. He trembled at the intense love he saw in her blue eyes. I don't deserve her, he thought. I never deserved her. You think you have nine lives, do you? Feathertail whispered. I saved you once. Don't make me save you again. F Feather tail, no, feather tail, no. As she weakened before him, Crowpaw felt as if a huge weight was crushing his chest, so that he could hardly speak. Don't leave me. I won't. The words were breathed out so faintly that Crowpaw could scarcely hear them. I'll always be with you. I promise. Then Feather Tail's eyes closed, and she did not move or speak again. Crowpaw turned to look at Sharptooth's body, bloody and growing cold. Feathertail had killed the lion cat, fulfilling the tribe's prophecy, but nothing about it felt right. What was the good in saving Crowpaw and the tribe if Feathertail had to give up her life to do it? He flung his head back and let out a wor wordless wail, which echoed off the cave walls, an outpouring of all the love and anguish. Then darkness swirled around him and he crouched beside Feathertail in a tight knot of grief. He felt as if all the light in the world had been snuffed out. How could he live with this loss? Voices drifted past him. He heard Stormfur blaming himself for bringing Feathertail back to the tribe. He turned his head to look up at the River Clan cat. It's my fault. Crowpaw's voice was a hoarse whisper. If I had refused to come back to the cave, she would have stayed with me. No, Stormfur said softly, reaching out to Crowpaw, who could only bow his head. He could hear Brook and Stone Teller trying to comfort Stormfur, but there would be no comfort for Crowpaw now. Maybe not ever. The tribe of endless hunting spoke truly, uh, said Stone Teller. A silver cat has saved us all. Yes, thought Crowpaw. But no cat saved her, and now the clans will never be the same. Never. The word echoed around Crowpaw until he felt his heart would break. We'll never be mates or have kids together. I'll never see her again. Never. Crowfeather woke, shivering. His pelt was soaked with early morning dew, but that wasn't the reason for the chill that sunk deep within him. It had been countless moons since Feathertail had died killing Sharptooth, but in his dream it had felt like it were happening all over again. The pain of losing Feathertail felt like a fresh wound. I thought I would never love another cat, he thought. Yet now? He glanced down at the small, tabby, and white she-cat who was curled beside him. His grief for Feathertail had consumed him, and it had taken him many moons to find the path that would lead him out of the darkness. Now he could not understand how Leafpool had made her way into his heart, filling him with more joy than he had ever hoped to feel. Like Feathertail, she was a cat from another clan, but unlike Feathertail, Leafpool was a medicine cat, and had vowed to never take a mate. This made their love even more impossible than his first. I certainly know how to make things complicated. Crowfeather thought with a wry, wry twitch of his whiskers. The only way he and Leafpool could be together was to make a huge sacrifice to leave the clans and everything they had ever known. But they decided to take the risk, amazingly, Crowfeather the thought. Watching Leafpool's chest rise and fall, we could have had a future together. Leafpool had come with him willingly to head out into the unknown territory, but then the night before they had met the wise badger Midnight, who had told them that savage badgers were gathering to attack the clans. The battle would be fierce and bloodstained. Cats would die, and Leafpool had said nothing about returning, and neither had he, but as but as he watched her sleeping form, Crowfeather knew what she would say when she woke. Her dedication and her loyalty to the Thunder Clan were a part of were a part of why he loved her. And that meant their dream of being together would soon come to an end. Oh, Leafpool. I would have taken care of you until my last breath. As if his words had disturbed her. Leafpool awoke, leaping to her paws, her eyes wild and distraught. Crowfeather! She gasped. I can't stay here. We have to go back. She looked at him, her eyes full of regret. She looked at him, her eyes wide and full of regret. Crowfeather raised his head. I know, he mewed, sadness rising inside him like a flooding stream. I feel the same way. We have to go and help our clans. He could feel and see the relief in her eyes as she pressed her muscle against his. He, 
He wished they could stay that way forever. But much too soon, she let out a purr and mewed. Let's go. As they trekked across the moorland towards home, though neither one of them said it, Crowfeather realized he was losing another mate. Not as terribly as he lost Feathertail, but just as finally. Leafpool was choosing to return to her clan because they needed her. They needed their medicine cat, and that meant Crowfeather's only option was to reunite with Wing Clan. He imagined what it would feel like, walking back into a camp he'd never expect to see again. Everything would seem foreign to his eyes. He himself would feel like a stranger. If they'll even have me, he thought bitterly. They all know where I went, and why, and they'll blame me for leaving. There'll be questions about my loyalty, that's for sure. I'll never forget what we shared, Beefpool murmured as they approached the stepping stones that led across the stream into ThunderClan territory. There was grief in her face, but a set determination that was stronger. Nor a lie, Crowfeather responded, halting at the edge of the stream, pressing himself against Leafpool's side, and parted his jaws to taste her scent for the last time. I'll miss her so much, he thought, her softness and her strength and her courage, and how we could play together as if we were no older than kids again. Leafpool pushed her nose into his shoulder for her. her amber eyes were full of love for him but it's not enough she doesn't love me enough her heart lies here with her clan she's so loyal i just wish she could be as loyal to me goodbye crowfeather leafpool whispered i'll see you again when this is all over what do you mean by goodbye crowfeather made his voice harsh otherwise he would have been started wailing like a lost kit i'm not leaving you when there are hostile badgers around but you need to warn Wing Clan, Leafpool protested. I know, and I will. But I'll see you to your camp first. It won't take too long. Leafpool didn't argue with him, but as he followed her across the stepping stones into the trees, Crowfeather knew he was only prolonging their anguish. That's it, he thought as he raced along. As Leafpool disappeared into the thick undergrowth, he knew he would never be able to be with her this way again. They would cross paths during gatherings and other clan business, but they'd have to keep their distance, as if they never loved each other at all. He couldn't bear to imagine how that would hurt. He couldn't think of anything worse. If he was lucky, maybe a badger would tear him apart. If I do survive, he thought. I'm finished with love. It only ended in pain and loss. An ache in his belly as if he had swallowed jagged stones. From now on, he vowed to himself as he forced himself to fall leaf pool. I'll only worry about my duty to my clan. No more love, not ever again.